so you left it late, but your first win of the season. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We're delighted with the win. Um, we knew how difficult the game was going to be today, particularly with Queen's Park coming off the back of a, a 5-2 defeat last week against Albion Rovers. So I knew that Gus would have them uh, as well organised as they normally are. And one thing Queen's Park always give you is great endeavour and great commitment. And um, I thought their players done really well today. But we dug in. I mean, I'm delighted with the, uh, the clean sheet. Mm -hmm. um, I think we restricted Queen's Park to only a couple of shots on target, which is great. Uh, Neil Parry didn't have a, a great deal to do. Um, and absolutely delighted with the goal as well. You know, young Adam, he comes off, and that's the kind of impact that you want from um, from your substitutes. And Adam's been, he's been chomping at the bit to get on the park uh, for the last few weeks, and we've been trying to get him as much game time as we can. And I'm really, really pleased that he's the one that's went and won the game for us. Mm. See, he's one to watch, isn't he? And that's just one example of what he's got in the locker. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, he's been training with us now for probably the last kind of seven or eight months, um, and he's improving all the time. You know, he's still got a long, long, long way to go. Um, I think it's important that we don't get too carried away with him. And you know, um, but he's he's one that we're very excited about. And any time he gets the ball at his feet, he's always uh, trying to make something happen. You know, and we're just trying to encourage him and not get uh, not get on top of him when he makes mistakes because obviously that's what you know is going to happen um, with young players. But his finish today, he does that three or four times a night in training, he really does, he works hard on it and um, I'm really, really pleased for him. Was that and the result in Wading State not the perfect way to respond to the disappointment of losing last Saturday? Yeah, East Fife game on uh, yeah last weekend was really, really disappointing because um, I felt it was a, a game similar to today's to be honest with you, where there wasn't a great deal in the game. Um, and I, f I thought we should have came away with at least a nil-nil, you know, and the goal that we, we conceded in the manner that we did was disappointing. But I thought today we defended really well, and I think, you know, clean sheets are vital. At this level, clean sheets are vital. I think you'll, you'll always get opportunities at the other end, um, but I think defensively we were solid. Um, the two centre halves done great again. Um, and yeah, really, really pleased. So, you know, we, we build on it, we take all the positives we can from it, and uh, we look forward to another difficult game next week. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you came up against the Airdrie in last season's playoffs, mm -hmm. and they've had a few changes since then. What would you be expecting? Listen, this league, there's not a great deal between the teams. I think you can see that with the, the way the results go uh, on a weekly basis. So, we prepare every week for a difficult game. Doesn't matter who we're playing, whether it's home or away. We prepare the same every week, and uh, we'll be, you know, expecting another difficult game against the Airdrie. Doesn't matter who's left the club or who's come into the club. Um, it's a tough, tough league, and there's no easy games. So that's something that we need to keep on it.